there's a proposed definition of nature positive, and we've heard so much about nature positive since you know that the nature positive plan is um, the framing under which all of these reforms are occurring. Being clear about what that actually means is potentially going to be a really helpful thing because that can set out what we need all of these pieces of legislation to be achieving the outcome that they need to be heading towards. The problem is that the current definition that's proposed is incomplete and currently could sort of mean anything at all. It doesn't have a baseline year against which nature positive is to be measured and it doesn't even um, uh, make clear that there will be a baseline year, it could hypothetically be a trajectory. So we wouldn't want to be saying that nature positive is merely for things to be declining, just not quite as fast as they are now. But at the moment, that's possible with the definition that's been put here. So I think there are some elements in these bills that, with the changes that we've proposed, um, could provide some really useful guidance for the remainder of the package. But at the moment, um, they really leave the door open for continued decline of our environment. So, I mean, the government has argued that this is all about nature positive, and what you're telling me is that that term doesn't even mean anything in these bills. Not yet. Not without a baseline year and a target year by which we're going to achieve this outcome. Setting an outcome like that would help enormously in framing, and it will be the test. You know, surely we all agree that that is the test of these reforms, that we want to turn around the decline in our environment. 